So this is just a quick little overlook on what we know this far about Blue Samuel's comeback and their third mini album. First of all, Blue Samuel changed their logo design, and this looks a lot more like the old Luna logo design. Besides this, the logo also gives off a futuristic vibe, so we are probably moving away from the fantastic fantasy aesthetic and more so into a science fiction direction for their new MV. This could mean that we are getting a continuation of the space story, which is underlined even more by the new poster that has the assigned spaceship jobs of the members on it. BB, pilot, Hyunjin, commander, Gowon, advisor, Heju, marshal, and Yojin, medic. This could also be interesting since Yojin is currently lost and she is the medic of the group, so they will probably struggle a lot without her. Maybe she even is the one that is going to heal BB and take her red eyes away from her, but who knows. And from Bibi being the pilot, we can conclude that the corrupted member, i.e. Bibi, has the power to lead the members into the wrong direction or something evil like that. So we maybe see the members in a really dark place in this new MV. And also the fact that some words are printed big and some aren't, to me feels like this might be the tracklist. Tell me the reason, take my love, riz me tonight, which seemingly is going to be their title track. Also seen in this being scratched lightly as well, then selfish, heartless, looking me eye to eye, and take it slow. Now this might be a little bit Delulu, but I had this theory when the doll teaser was released. So doll is an abbreviation for divine all love and live, as a reference to Luna's beginnings with Luna One Third. So I had the idea that the next comeback would be a reference to mix and match and the other circle members. But seemingly, Lucemble is now going to have an Odd-Eye Circle inspired comeback, at least in my theory. This little teaser song sounds, at least to me, like Girlfront or the typical Luna Odd-Eye Circle sound. So what if this is going to be an album paying homage to Odd-Eye Circle? Which could also be underlined by this looking like the Singing in the Rain MV. And I mean, why wouldn't they tell us the name of the album from the beginning? It's just four question marks and the name is scratched out. So why? Well maybe because the first time around we solved the mystery in like half an hour. We knew that Dal was a reference to the moon, since Dal is Korean for moon. And then we found out that they reference the Love and Live album, as well as something being evil or bad about this album, since it is spelled divine and not divine. So what if we don't get to know the title, because it is a reveal in it of itself. Meaning that once they do tell us the title of the album, hopefully it is going to be a lore reveal in some kind of way. In my theory, it could be something like divine all love and live, but this time divine all mix and match. Yeah, I know that this is probably not going to be the title, but it could be. There are four question marks and this looks like a word riddle. Like they just want us to figure out the title. So I mean, it could be Riz or YYYY or Damn for divine all mix and match. But I feel like this is going to be a reference to the Odd-Eye Circle unit in some type of way. So since the recording of this video, they actually did reveal the title of the album and it is TTYL, which could be the abbreviation for Talk To You Later, which could also fit into the whole phone theme that they have going on. Since in the poster teaser, you can see Heju holding up a phone and they also use the phone emoji when they post anything about this era. So it could be connected to this. But my point still stands. As of now, we don't really know if the TTYL stands for Talk To You Later or not. And it could also be a reference to something else. We will have to wait and see. Also, on the new teaser revealing the name of the album, we see the assigned animals of the members, i.e. a wolf for Heju, a butterfly for Gowon, a cat for Hyunjin, a deer for Bibi, and this time around a teddy bear for Yojin. This far in the lore, Yojin had the frog as her assigned animal, but yet again, since they re-debuted in Lusamble, it seems to have been switched to a bear. Which also is kind of fitting, since Yojin originally was supposed to have a bear assigned to her, and then they changed it to a frog, and then they made up the lore that Yojin was actually a beautiful bear, but then she was turned into a frog and she had to be kissed to turn back into a bear. Kind of like the frog princess story. 
but it never really got a lot of attention, and it seemingly was thrown out of the window after Yajin debuted and her assigned animal was decided to be a frog. Now it's a teddy bear? But this could also be a callback to Luna 13's MV for Rain 51 Decibel, since in that MV I theorized the big teddy bear to be a reference to Yajin, who was missing at the time. So maybe this is a reference because Yojin as of now is also missing again and the other members are trying to find her. Which could also fit the fact that this area seemingly is going to have a green theme to it and a forest is green, kind of. And also something that I find very interesting is the fact that we have these circles on the teaser, which kind of looks like the circles that some Luna charts use to explain which member is in which subunit. So this could be a reference to this or to the realms of the Luniverse in general, but again, we will have to wait and see what is going to be released next, and I will keep you updated. So while the Dull album had themes of new beginnings, feeling like an outcast slash struggling with life in general and artificiality, which were all mirrored in Luna 1 3rd, especially in their debut with Love and Live, now this new album could have some references to the themes of Odai Circle, i.e. finding out more about their powers, meeting slash bringing together other members, and opening up the lore to us. This could be a perfect setup for the members trying to find Yojin and bringing her back to her members, just like in the old lore where probably Cherry was the one that tried to bring Yojin back to her members. And thematically this would also make a lot of sense, since Lusamo this far has been the unit with the most lore references. And since debut, they have been telling us this big story. So what if we will find out more about the members, newfound powers, and maybe what happened to Yojin this time around? And then this could be a perfect setup for an OT12 comeback as well. Which could also explain the connection of the Lusamble teaser to the birth MV. I mean, this does kind of look like the night shots of Artemis's birth MV, as well as the virtual angel MV. But at the same time, it could also be a reference to the singing in the rain MV. Or even the Love and Live MV, since this does look like the location of either the Love and Live or the Sensitive MV. Now going back to the poster teaser of Heju, there are some other things hidden in the poster. For once this could be a hint at the release date of the album, so maybe it is the 19th of September, which I mean that could make sense. On the other hand, I also find it very interesting how Heju is calling somebody on a phone. This could be a reference to the Girls Night MV. And yeah, the phones in the Girls Night MV are old school phones, but this could also be a modern phone to make it easier for us to see. Since we all know how a smartphone looks like, but if she would be holding up a payphone for example, some people might not even recognize that this is a phone. So yeah. And also what is interesting to me personally, we see two times Heju. Two times. Just as if they were hinting at something. Maybe my theory of the members being cloned and there being two of every member could be not that far off, but I don't know. And also something that I've noticed is in this teaser we do not get to know the title of the album, but we see these four question marks. There are four dots and four lines and four question marks. This might be a little bit of a stretch, but Luna in the past had these assigned shapes and the Lusemble logo seems to be reincorporating these symbols. Hyunjin and BB are both part of Luna 1 3rd and have squares. Heju and Gohan have triangles, since they are part of YYY. -Y -Y -Y. These, to me at least, look similar enough to triangles. And then Yojin has a dash. Besides this though, there are also two smaller squares, which could be a reference to the other two Luna 1 3rd members, i.e. Heejin and Hasul. Then we have these three line things for the E's and the M. So maybe three for Odd Eye Circle. And then we have the reverse triangles for Chu and Eve. Most importantly, it feels like this incorporates Luna's design into Lucembo's comeback. And then I thought, well, there are four question marks with four dots and four lines. What if this is above, so Eden with Y by Y, then in between Middle Earth with Odai Circle and Yojin, who was lost in the forest of Middle Earth, and then on the bottom below is Earth with Luna 1 3rd. This could be a really interesting reference to Luna, emphasized with the we have endless love for you, kind of like the members telling this to one another, as well as telling this to, well, Orbit. Well, just think about it, I guess. So this is going to be it for now, but I will add onto this once we know more, so stay tuned, and if you have a theory about the comeback as well, I would appreciate a comment. So if you liked the video, you can like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.